Hey, you got time for a beer? I know I do. Welcome to my show. It's not Thursday today, but that's cool because I've got, well, I do actually have a new beer, which is fine. You can find me, Jake, at Untapped YouTube, Twitter, and Instagram, all at tubajake underscore 69. Tell me your stories. I like to hear them. Uh, like, comment, subscribe. I, I want to know what you think is cool. Uh, and I appreciate when people tell me. Um, people have asked me, what's my beer story? What do I like? I like things that are uh, light, dark, and a little bit fruity. Um, that, that might be a little bit weird, but uh, beers that are light, dark, and a little bit fruity. So less than 5 ABV. Um, dark as opposed to light. And a little bit fruity. So like raspberries, cherries, um, raspberries. I think I said that before. Strawberries sometimes too. Uh, but yeah, those things. That's what I like. Um, I've been drinking for a while. I mean, I'm 43 now. This is the first one I've done since I've been 43. But that's cool, right? So today, I have Ordock Porter. Uh, it's by uh, Ordock Brewing Company up in... Whoa. Up in Marquette, whew, Marquette, Michigan. Um, this stuff is should be really good. Um, the stuff that they have all over this beer makes it think that my cousin might love this beer. If he doesn't, then at least one of his children does because uh, he's got one kid that's a... Uh, that's a doctor. Well, not really a doctor, but you might see him as a doctor. He's like a nurse practitioner or something like that. Um, and then his other kid is a, uh, is a cop. And his other kid is in college still at Northern, which is awesome. Uh, Kyle is, is super cool. If you ever meet Kyle King, he is awesome and um, should be recognized as such. Um, Nate's very cool. Uh, Todd King, though, is one of the owners of Downwind Sports in Marquette. Uh, he is my cousin, and I would like to think that he would absolutely love this beer because of the things they've got on it. There's, like, bicycles and, um, and stuff like that. Uh, it says something about that it's good for moving and shaking up in the UP, which, I mean, he owns a place that does all the moving and shaking. He sells all kinds of really cool sporting goods stuff, skis and snowboards and um, kayaks and canoes and hiking boots and packs and all that really fun stuff you can get at Downward Sports. It'd be very cool if he was sponsoring me, but I doubt he will because, I mean, I don't really want his money, but he's a cool guy and influenced my life a lot, actually. So anyway, this porter, um, it should be dark, which obviously it is. It should be heavy um, as opposed to light, which it's just above 5%. It's a very light porter, 5.6% uh, from what I understand, which is good because that's the kind of porters that I like. Uh, let's see what it reminds me of. It's dark, like deep dark, like a black lager, maybe, um, like the uh, the Widowmaker from um, from Keweenaw Brewing. It's a lot like that, um, dark and deep and tinny. It's metallic, kind of. It's delicious. I like it, and it's pretty much exactly what it should be. The metallic flavor makes it taste more um, 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 
Upian, uh, more like the Upper Peninsula of Michigan, I think. It's delicious. I like it. Um, uh, there's a dark malt flavor, uh, which leads to some vanilla a little bit, um, a little bit of charcoal. Vanilla charcoal. That sounds that sounds super interesting. I might actually like that. So yeah, this reminds me of my cousin. He's super awesome, and I mean, not like anybody, any any of you will probably meet him, but if you're ever in Marquette, if you look up Down One Sports, um, they've got a lot of really cool stuff going on there, and you definitely should if you can support him for sure do that. It wouldn't surprise me if he supports a local hockey club and um a, and local breweries cuz I mean he went to Northern. Uh I figured out that drinking drinking beers was cool because of him and his friends. Uh while I was up at my uncle's cabin on Mullet Lake. It's not in the UP, but it's in Sheboygan and it's up north, so that's kind of cool. This is really good. I'd really like to go to our dock. This is not the first one that I've had from there that's been really good. It's definitely worth going there. Or dock and um, Black Rocks. Up around the corner, you got... Uh, Keweenaw, which has amazing stuff for a lot of years. Up around the corner, it's in Houghton. It's not close to Marquette. It'd be like going from where I live to Sheboygan. <laughs> it's not close, uh, but I mean... The beer is good at all of those places, but always, I don't know, maybe it's, maybe it's Lake Superior. It's fine, but it tastes tinny as composed to, as, as compared to stuff from in the middle of Michigan. But even then, the stuff in the middle of Michigan has all been sifted through sand and whatnot, so... Who knows what it's really like. This is good. I would I would keep drinking this. The odd thing is, this actually reminds me of sitting on the beach at my uncle's cabin in Sheboygan on Mullet Lake. Mullet, like, you know, the hairstyle or the fish, depending. Um, uh, but sitting on, on the beach at my uncle's place in the summertime, um, and sitting there with my cousin when he was still in college and his, his best friend in college, which is really weird because they went to the same high school, I think, and they didn't know each other. Which is very strange for me because I knew everybody in my high school. Like, like ninth grade through senior, I knew everybody. But that, but that wasn't the case because he went to Fraser down in Detroit. And so did his friend that also ended up going to Northern. They ended up being friends. I mean, they drove back and forth together. So, I mean, you get to spend a lot of time. My uncle was a was a vet, so he had a little bit of money. So when Todd went to Northern, he gave him money for a car. So Todd had a car to go back and forth if he needed to. And John needed a ride, I think, is what I understand. <laughs> but yeah, really super good friends. Uh, they ended up married to sisters. But this reminds me of sitting around the campfire because this is kind of smoky charcoal like like i said a little bit of charcoal Whew. but sitting around the campfire and 
telling stories and listening to stories. And how they used to crash weddings in Marquette. Which is a great way to get free food if you are a single guy who likes to dance. Apparently, I've heard. So anyway, I've got a quote for you since I'm finished with my beer here. Um, this one comes from Albert Einstein. Everybody knows him. Physicist, mathematician, possible leader of um, Israel. Not the leader of Israel. Possible, though. He said, the important thing is not to stop questioning. Always question. That's how, that's how dreams are made. That's how you figure out what's going on in the world. Please do that. Figure out what's going on in the world. <sighs> anyway, you can find me, Jake, at Untap. YouTube, Twitter, and Instagram, all at tubajake underscore 69. 69. Tubajake underscore 69. Tell me your stories. I'd love to hear them. I'll see you next time when you got time for a beer. <laughs>